So a few months ago, I got myself a brand new Hobie Pro Angler 14, and my wife kind of took over my old banana boat here, and she likes to go out when I fish and stuff and use this, pedal around the lake and stuff like that, but she's not really into fishing, so she usually just takes a book with her. She's an English teacher, so she kind of nerds out on the water, reads a book, and just pedals around on the water while I'm out fishing. One of the things that she did want me to try to add to this, though, was a canopy or a bimini top or something to keep her in the shade while she was out on the lake in the middle of the day. I looked at Hobie's bimini tops or canopies or whatever they call them, and it was just, I, I couldn't pay that much for what it was. I think it was 250, almost 300 bucks for a pop-in bimini top. It was this little fabric thing. It was just, the price was just too much for me to pay. So I got on Amazon and started kind of scouring through and I found a company called Kimimoto. And I found out that they carry on Amazon, and I'll have it linked today, they carry two different sizes of this uh, top that we're gonna be installing today. They carry them for canoes and large kayaks. So I went through there and I found that the medium one was probably gonna be the best fit for me to try to mod to fit this Hobie Pro Angler 14. And I'm gonna try to install it. We're gonna try to rig it up so that when I take other people out fishing, hopefully we'll be able to fold it out of the way so it's just not in the way. But when she wants to take the kayak out with me while I'm fishing, we'll be able to pop it up and she'll have a shade to kind of pedal around the lake and nerd out like she likes to do. So that's what we're gonna do this week. We're gonna install a bimini top or a canopy, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna rig it up on this boat so that it can fold up and down. She can use it for shade and then, you know, maybe it'll work out. Hopefully it's really cool and I might end up adding one to my new kayak. <laughs> So this is the Bimini top. This is what I found on Amazon. I'll go ahead and throw on the screen real quick, show you how you can get this on Amazon. Uh, if you see, they've got two different colors right here. They've got a gray and a tan. Uh, I can't really remember what I ordered. I should have got gray. I'll have to, if I didn't order gray, I might get back with them and see if I can switch it for gray because I wasn't thinking about color. I was just thinking about size. So I think uh, I did go with the medium. So after, you know, you can look in the product description and it'll tell you the width and stuff on which one would fit what and then you just measure your kayak. But let's open it up. I've already got it cut open and see how this thing is gonna install. All right, yeah, so I didn't get the gray. I got the tan. Dang, that's gonna clash. I'm gonna have to get with them and see if they'll send me the gray out. But that is gonna be the top. And it's got some aluminum poles. I did read in the Amazon listing that everything that is a part of this system, it, there's no metal or raw metal or anything like that that's, that can rust. All of this is either coated with something or it's rubber or it's aluminum. And it doesn't look like that many pieces. You got a couple of bins, a couple of straight bars, and a couple of longer ones. So oh, here's a little box here, hardware box. Everything's packed up really good. And it's got a product manual and it's just one page front and back. Really good pictures to put it together. So let's see if I can throw this thing together real quick. I'm not gonna bore y'all with it. I'm just gonna set the camera up do a quick time lapse, try to get this thing together, and then we'll figure out how to rig it on this kayak.
All right, I probably did not need to time lapse that build montage there because this thing just went together in like a couple of seconds. It's literally once once you look at this and you know it's really not that complicated. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. It literally has seven pictures, seven steps on how to assemble this thing, and everything just kind of popped together. So that was very cool. Uh, I popped everything together. It's ready to go on the kayak. I did kind of mock it up really quick to make sure that it was gonna fit before I continued filming the video. And I think it's gonna work. And I'm also not going to use a lot of the stuff that it sent uh, because I'm not gonna need it with this kayak. There's so many tie down points. So the way these work is there's two straps on the front, there's two straps on the back, and they usually would go down to these little what are these called? Let's see if it says what they're called. Number 16, uh, it's called a cross wrench, a cross wrench on their uh, instructions, but that is not what they are. I can't remember the name of them right now, but it's got these little tie downs that you're supposed to bolt down to your boat. And these clips will pull down, hook to it, just like a bim bimini top on a big boat, if you know what those look like. And it comes with four of those. But I think we, since we've got enough tie downs already kind of built into this kayak, I think we're gonna be able to use places and not drill those holes. The only holes that we're gonna drill in the boat are gonna be for these two things right here. One goes on each side and that's where the main shaft right here actually fits. And it's a quick disconnect too, which is really cool. Cause like I mentioned earlier, when my wife takes this kayak out, she's gonna want this top on the boat but when I bring a friend along fishing that doesn't have a kayak and they use this one, they're not gonna want this in the way the whole time. I'm gonna be able to just quick connect it and hang it up in the, you know, the garage somewhere and leave the bimini top at home. So that's really cool. And I got just, I've got it just about figured out where I wanna put it. So let me show you guys how it works. The fabric, I don't know if you can see there on the very front, it's marked that way's the front. So it's literally gonna just, mount right back here. Let me get these paddles out of the way. We can put them back on in a minute. Can y'all still see what I got going on here? Let me get y'all a little bit closer. So this is gonna be pretty cool for the price compared to the other stuff that's on there. And I might've been able to get away with going with the larger one now that I'm looking at this one because it's, it's gonna work just fine, but it's just wide enough to go around the seat and cover the person sitting in the seat. And I think if I went to the next step wider, it would have been the same width as the back of the kayak and covered a little bit more uh, you know, square inches or whatever, but it may have been too long when it's folded back. So. Well, I'm glad I went with this size because it's going to work, so let's try it out. And these are the only two things that we're going to have to put back here, like I said, are these little mounting brackets right here with a quick disconnect. And the way these work is you mount this part to your kayak, then this twist knob with a little screw on the end of it, when you pop them in, we're going to pop this in like this. This is going to go in here. If I can... There we go. And then that part mounts to the kayak and we're gonna mount it right here on the kayak on both sides. And that's gonna be the only mounting point. Everything else is gonna hinge open. Let's see if I can get it kind of mocked up. If I don't take my light out and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. And what's cool is I've already got these bungee stra straps on the back of this kayak and they've got these little connections that I'm gonna be able to use. So we'll hook that there hook that there and this thing also it's already supporting itself <laughs> that's pretty cool let me grab the other mounting support so these are going to go and i think i'm going to swap swap them out so the knobs will be on the inside and not the outside so we'll put the nut there like that Put this through here like this. I know y'all can't see this right now, but I'm gonna, I'll zoom you in and I'll walk you around up close in just a minute. But what's neat about it 
is now I've got these. Let me back y'all up. There you go, it's kind of a full shot. And yes, the, the tan looks horrible with this kayak, but I did send them an email uh, already <laughs> just a minute ago. I sent an email seeing if I could swap out this tan with a uh, gray so it matches. But what's cool is like, I mentioned that these are supposed to be what you mount to your boat for the straps to connect to, but I've already got all these places right here. So what I'm gonna do is loosen this strap up so I don't tear my top up. And we're gonna connect it right there. And I don't even have this mounted in the back yet, so it's really neat that we can set it up, get it exactly how we want it, and then I can mark the holes to mount those two little mounting brackets that hold the main poles up. Look at that. How cool is that? Let me grab the camera. All right, here's your closer look at what I got going on here. So here's the instructions. I know they were kind of bled out the whole time because of the light, but this is the instructions that it comes with. It's that simple. This is the hardware that I'm not even going to use. I will use, what, four or eight of these screws. It even comes with this little screwdriver. Uh, but the way I've got it hooked up, I've got them clipped to there on both sides, which won't be in her way at all. The seat folds up, plenty of headroom. Look at that. Let's see how it looks from the front. Now I do need to, I see that it's kind of, let's see, y'all can't see that. See how it's kind of crooked? And that's just because I need to make sure my, my straps are even. Uh, but once I get everything fixed up, it should be just fine. And here's where we're gonna mount these little things. See if y'all can see them. It's hard to film it, there they are. So these right here, this is just gonna be what I use to tighten them in and whenever I wanna leave it at home, I'll just back these out, pull them out and this will pop out leaving just that little bitty mountain bracket on both sides. And then it folds back. How cool is that? Let me see if I can fold it back and see how it looks. All right, to fold it back, now it's not mounted so it's probably not gonna fold like it should, but. All you would have to do is undo the front two clips. You're not gonna undo the back ones. So we'll just undo that clip, undo this clip, and then it should just fold back into place out of the way. Look at that. Just like that. How cool is that? And it's not even mounted and it's able, we're able to put it where it needs to go. And whenever she wants shade, like if she wanted to jump off and go swimming, we would be able to fold this out of the way, you know, hop off the boat, go for a dip, climb back up on the kayak. And then when she wanted shade again, she could just grab the, the top and fold it up. Just like that. Just reach up, hook her straps up. Man, that's gonna be awesome. It is making me want one on my boat. <laughs> It would be completely in the way for me to fish, of course, but but I don't know, for them long hot days, man, like especially when you spend a whole day out on the kayak. All right, we gotta get this mounted. It's not even mounted, I'm already planning on using it. So we'll do that there. Now what I'm gonna do is just tweak it, get it exactly where it needs to go, drill a couple of holes and mount these up really quick and then we'll see how it does. All right, she is completely bolted on. And I say bolted on, but these are the only screws that I had to put in the kayak. I just drilled a small hole, put those four stainless steel provided screws in there, and that's it. And there's our thumb, our little thumb screw that we wind out to take off. And I know y'all wanna see what it's like with somebody in it. So I'm gonna climb up in there. Let me set this camera back up. All right. I'm gonna grab my little step stool here. I'm just gonna undo one side, one corner here. And it holds itself in place really well. I just wanna see how much headroom we got. Ugh. Hook this back up. That's not bad. She'll be comfortable in this. And if it starts raining, I didn't think about it, but if it starts raining, she can just, she'll be dry and she'll be able to use the, the foot pedals. 
You won't be, you can't do a whole lot of casting under one of these though. But let's see how easy it goes up and down. Undo that one. Undo that one. Fold it back out of the way. Not bad at all. What y'all think about this new t-shirt design? If you haven't gotten you one yet, get you one. ShopKayakUSA.com, I got these new merch shirts, new patch style design, I really like them, but what do y'all think about this bimini top? Let's see if I can reach it to pull it back up. Oh crap. If I don't take my light out in my shop. It's gonna be pretty easy. I got this side a little too tight. There it goes. Or maybe not tight enough. That's pretty cool. I think she's gonna like this a lot. So y'all tell me in the comment section below what you think about these canopies or these bimini tops. I think it's a cool idea. Now, obviously I'm not gonna put one on my boat for fishing reasons. It, it will be in the way for casting and catching fish and stuff. But for those of you who have wives or you know some of you guys just like to float creeks and stuff, these could be really cool. And for the price point compared to the other stuff, this one, you know, I'm really glad that I found it under 80 bucks after the promo code. Now I forgot to mention that the company quickly emailed me back. They are gonna send me the gray top and they give me a promo code because I told them, you know, I was talking about their canopy on YouTube and they give me a promo code. Once I get it, it will be linked below. So you'll probably be able to get these even cheaper right there on Amazon. So you know, you'll get the quick shipping. I got it within like two days, I've got Prime. So yeah, I think it's really cool. We're gonna test this out in the next week or two. My wife gets off, we're gonna go do some trips. So y'all stay tuned. You'll get to see this in action. I'll fly a drone around her and stuff like that when we get out on our camping trip. And I think she's gonna like this a whole lot. My favorite thing about it is that I can remove it with just two thumb screws and I didn't have to drill that many holes in my boat. Everything, you know, the holes back here, that's it. And those mounts can just stay there. They're not in the way of anything. They're, they're actually hidden. Once this bimini top gets pulled off and hung on the wall here at the house, you won't even know that one goes on this boat. That's how easy it was. I was able to utilize these tie down points instead of mounting those other brackets and it worked out really well. So if you do end up getting one of these and putting them on your kayak, take some pictures, put them on Instagram and tag me at Kayak USA on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys come up with, what kind of kayaks you put these on, if you're interested. I know a lot of you guys, you're fishing guys, you're not gonna be interested in having one of these, but it is pretty neat. It is really cool. That's why I wanted to make the video. So yeah, that's gonna do it this week for the video, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. I upload content like this all the time, so be sure to go check out my homepage. I got a ton of videos like this, DIY stuff, kayak trailers, camping trailers, all kind of stuff like that. We also do some adventures. I got some cool stuff coming up, especially for this fall. I'm really excited for these trips that I got planned this fall. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Get you some merch. Don't forget to grab you one of these new t-shirts. I got them in stock right now at shopkayakusa.com. Go there, get you one. Got them in every color. Got white, black, blue, red, whatever you want. And yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next week. Peace.